Hello everyone, welcome back to the very last part of the Shanghai Tower Grasshopper tutorial. Um, what I did is after we've done with part, uh, the previous part, I've gathered all the geometries as you can see here and I grouped them into uh, this group called final models. Um, these are basically all the geometries that we made. For example, the first one's going to be the panels that we made. And, uh, and then I grouped them according to what makes sense. For example, all these panels are actually glass, uh, including the top part, exception panels, and then the, the ramp uh, that you can see here, for example. So I grouped them all into one big entwined group and then gave them a, a, a preview color, basically. And I did the same thing. Oh, I can see that I need to actually clean this up. I thought I cleaned that up, but apparently I missed that one. And this one is the infills. Um, which are the between panels, as you can see here. So I give that a little bit of white color to sort of like mimic the aluminum, which I believe is aluminum profiles, and then so on and so forth. So I didn't want to create too much groups. Um, obviously, the whole platform is not going to be the same material as these uh, steel rods. And these steel rods are still curved, so they're not piped in any sense. Uh, if you want geometry out of that, you can obviously do it. And of course, going back to the very first beginning, we have the core, which I took all the way from, I believe, this one. Yes. And um, I wanted to actually to fix this also off screen, but I decided to actually do it, um, show you how uh, to fix this. Uh, remember that we had the core previously set up to this level, but then we introduced the two levels below the, the top. Uh, the problem that we have now is that now the uh, platform, the race platform, is being submerged into this um, gray core. So uh, I just want to show you how to quickly fix that. And that relies, that's actually a very, very, very simple fix. Um, within the tower outlines, um, the idea behind this is we will have um, extrudes from this, and then we extrude everything down based on a number, and that number comes from which zone that is and how many floors it encompasses times the floor height which give us these z values to extrude down now if you go all the way in the beginning you should see if you follow along the this parameter right what this basically does is um subtract oh 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 boy since i deleted all the geometry my mouse don't want to snap Right, so this subtract from the very top the amount of floors um, to where the core should begin. And we notice that we only use the crown floor. So the amount of floors subtract only the crown floor. So the only thing we need to do here or to add is to copy the uh, crown below floors. So we're just going to copy that. We're going to quickly control shift space, put it here. I'm going to drag this a little bit there. Um, we're actually going to do a small addition. So we're going to do addition like that. We're going to add these two together and then we put this into the B. And there we go. That one is fixed. So remember to also add these to the group since they don't belong to the group yet. And now they do. And they can move with the group. Um, yeah, so that was the very last part that we were uh, trying to fix. And now you should have your complete script, um, which you can play or which we will actually play with the parameter to see what change, how they change, and basically what we can do with it. Um, actually, I noticed that this, uh, this might be actually a good way to hide this too in order to make it into the same thing. So I'm just going to quickly create that on screen too, uh, to, uh, show you so actually I'm just gonna do this and then I'm gonna say wire hidden oh now, now that's gonna take 10 seconds to fix that um, I believe I'll just cut the video here and then with the power of editing I'll come back to you with this thing cleaned up all right so I uh, managed to clean all this up so then I basically just copied and made the lines hidden and moved them into this group. And I also noticed one thing is that we actually have already have a twist angle here because I know that this is, was not used. So I'm just going to delete that 
and we will solely looking at these um, parameters. I also put that in a nice group and give it a the group a little bit of color. So I'm just going to quickly save that again. Now, in the next few uh, minutes, what we're going to do, we're going to try some experimentation with the parameters that we've created. Of course, that's why we made them parametric. Otherwise, you could have just uh, baked in um, static values everywhere and then be done with it and not have to worry about, oh, what if this change? What am I going to do? Uh, how would the script adapt? So that's what we're going to do in the next few minutes to try to change a few things. For example, we can try changing the overall height of the tower. And by also doing uh, changing the size of it, uh, we can also change the, oops, there we go. Uh, I think my graphic caused a little bit of problem with this. Uh, by changing the size of the panels and um, very nicely change maybe the depth of this V-Strike groove. Uh, and by that also changing the, uh, uh, how many panels there will, there's going to be. And maybe uh, an insane uh, experimentation is since we spent so much time making that crown, maybe we can have some fun with that also by, let's say, making a very, very deep groove, uh, uh, sorry, a uh, very deep crown and stuff like that. So let's try changing those parameters and see how the tower will react. So first of all, what we can do is obviously uh, change the either the height or the panel size. Um, so we can start by let's adjusting the radius. Um, let's say this is the radius that remember um, that we're basing that on the plan view that we use. So let me just quickly show you that first. I believe it's layer one. Okay, if you go to the top view, and I'm just going to also quickly enable our base profile here, or select it actually. Now you can see that um, these are the parameters that we're going to be using. So R1 basically dictates the overall size of your tower, and R2, which we don't have an R2, uh, we do have the distance L1, which is this distance, which changes the um, curvature of this part because the smaller the, the the l1 the bigger the rounder this will get so you will get instead of a more of a, like a guitar pick ish shape you're probably going to more of a um, some circle kind of shape right um, and to change how deep the, uh, the groove is remember that we base that more or less on the wp Oh, three points. So we have to change the A1 angle if we want to have the lower the angle, the deeper the groove. And I think those are more or less the parameters that we will change in order to really modify a big chunk of the tower. So let me switch back to this. I'm going to hide that and we'll go back to the parameters. So, for example, if I were to change this to uh, what, what is a crazy number? Let's say 15. Oh, apparently we set a cap, a maximum cap on it. So if you want to go crazy with it, you can obviously lift the cap, the maximum. Oh, yeah, I, I, that, I, don't, I don't know how to feel about this part. Um, I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a very fat tower with a very shallow crown, I, I would say, uh, with a small table, more or less. So this looks kind of cute, <laughs> quite fat. Uh, so I'm just going to actually quickly dial that down to uh, 70,000. Let's see what we get. We're going to get the same thing. Uh, at the same time, we're probably going to change the floor because uh, the more floors you have, the longer you have to wait for the script to run the panels. So I believe this is going to be like approximately 10 seconds. Um, and of course, there are going to be some combination, or at least there are uh, only a few combinations that's going to work. And the reason for that is um, a lot of these will make the geometry look, um, well, you'll see if we try to change a few more. And I don't know what happened here because my model is now suddenly very slow so i'm just going to grab one of these and i'm just going to zoom select it 
Yeah, so I guess something went wrong there. Oh, right, that's the crown that we made. Because remember, we... Yeah, okay, exactly. Remember that we made uh, sure that the crown, I believe, had a different radius? Yeah, it, it, it sort of does have a different radius. So that's why a lot of these are beginning to show red, because the, um, that's what I mentioned about the uh, potential that some of these will some of these parameters will create errors and because we lower the uh, radius r1 so much the distance to w point has to be lower too because that remember um, governs the smaller radius because now I believe this is now over the limit so I'll have to change back to let's say 37,000 Oh right, I did want to change the floor first. Uh, instead of 1 to 28, I might want to change that to about uh, 50, which would make the script run a little bit more faster than now. Yeah, so we're kind of back to where we started with, with the tower, only ever so slightly smaller. So I'm just going to quickly do this to 50, so that the scrum will run a little bit faster from here on out. Um, the floor height, uh, I'm not sure the floor height matters that much oh um yeah so there's a few parameters that has to change when you do that for example zone slot at floor 110 well if we cap out the 50 this floor doesn't exist so we have to crank that back down to 50 or uh, lower the 50 or you can also set a parameter that automatically subtracts how many floor you can uh, cut off so this is obviously a lot faster now um so for example if i uh we still have nine zones here so we can actually change that to to about i don't know four and we also need to change uh, a few more things for example uh let me see so this crown starts floor is so that's if we do that to like six because we do know that the uh starting the observation deck is here. So because we had eight floors crown uh, and two floors below, and we are exactly delta 10 here, which makes this surface floor right at the edge there. So because we lower the amount of top floors, we still have about two floors or one floor actually, because it's counting from the middle for the surface floor. Um, so these are the things you can change. Uh, obviously, you can also change this if you would like. So you, instead of taking off seven floor, you tell it to take only two. Um, and then to change the um, panelization, so let me zoom in here a little bit. So for example, if you want to make the groove um, deeper, remember that we had we said that we would change this angle because this angle determines that point from where the groove is made. So for example, if I put this to 15, let's start with something lower, gradually, you can see that the groove is now pushed back a lot more. Uh, I'm not sure if you could see that. So, if for example, uh, I don't want to go too crazy with this number actually. So eight. So you need you can see the groove is a lot deeper, and then this changes the angle. So, for example, if you put here sixty, I'm not sure if this will work. Yeah, you can see that it's a lot wider the groove, and you start seeing artifacts that comes from what I just said is the. Um, that some part of the script does not adapt as well with certain uh, values. So you need to still play around with it to make sure that one of those uh, adapts. Or you change some of the mechanics in the script to make sure that it can adapt. So obviously 50 is going to be a better angle for things to work. So I'm going to change it quickly back to 50. And um, yeah, so I was saying that if you want to change the width of panels, remember that we programmed, uh, we scripted, the width of the panel to be governed by how many panels there are in this in this groove can fit in that groove and the same width will be applied to every other panel so we if you want more panels you obviously can increase the no amount of b strike panels so if you uh, type in 16 you'll have eight on both sides and there you have a lot more smaller panels and vice versa, if you want to say, you know what, I just want to have four. And you will also get 
a lot more wider panels like that. And that one obviously now messes up because of, uh, uh, I think the panelization somewhere just uh, messed up uh, for this part. So let me see if I can change that to six. Six might remedy that. Yeah. It probably has to do with uh, the logic that we built in that selected this part to build the run. So if you do decide to have um, a bigger wider panel and this thing still messes up, uh, you can obviously go back to that part here. Now you can always show a lot of red ones because of, um, yeah. So the wider panel is so wide that uh, the back fold is just not possible anymore. And notice that it doesn't go outwards, but it goes inwards at the moment. So it has to do with the, uh, where was it again? The I think the inner radius that we checked, that we changed here, we well, hard bake here somewhere. I think it might be this one, I'm not sure. Let's see how that works. Yeah, it could be that one. So you have to probably change that a lot more, you know, to get back your, I think, oh, I think it's back now. Yeah, see, now it's, uh, it's back now. So you probably need to make sure that the, oh, it's not here, it's this one, that this parameter gets checked or governed by um, the radius of the overall. So it always uh, goes inwards. So those are the things that um, you could still do as a um, sort of like an extra exercise to see if you understood what we have done so far. But yeah, so I would say have fun, uh, even with the twist. I'm not sure if you can play too much with this. I'm actually quite afraid to change that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, not sure how I feel about this weird twist, but uh, it's uh, it's possible. Now you can even do just the normal groove all the way to the top. I'm not sure if I do 10, you'll probably just get a groove of a normal towel that doesn't look very fancy at all because the curve is what makes it a little bit, uh, it's what gives it elegance in my opinion. So yeah, so these are the things that you can do with your script once you've built it this far. And um, I'm just going to restore the state because I've uh, saved it, which will turn back to the original tower. Um, and I'm going to end the video here and, and also the tutorial series. And as always, I really do hope that you're able to learn a lot of new stuff. And if you have any question or any part that you didn't understand how I got there, uh, don't hesitate to comment in the video and I will try to get back to you as, uh, as soon as I can. And as always, um, thank you for watching thus far and uh, have a great day.